Good morning, Falcons. I'm here in Photoshop looking at fruit veggie one .psd, and I have a selection of the watermelon on the screen. Selection is indicated by the dotted line, sometimes called marching ants. Over here in the navigator, in the upper right hand corner, I can see the whole picture and I can use the slider to zoom out and see the whole thing or I can zoom in close so I can see the watermelon. This does not change the size of the picture. It only changes your perspective. When you have a selection, you can use the move tool, pick it up and move it. You can also do things like turn it around or change the size. We're going to talk about how to make a good selection. In the select menu at the top of the screen, I'm going to select deselect. Now let's talk about your tools. You've got three. The first one is a marquee tool and as you can see your choices are rectangular, circle shaped or ellipse and you've got a couple row choices and these will let you make a shape. Select, deselect. The lasso tool and um, if you hold your mouse over a tool for a little bit of time, you'll see a little video pop up that shows you how to use that tool. So here's how the lasso tool works. It goes around. And there are three kinds of lassos. You've got a polygon lasso tool that'll let you click and set a point that will turn. A magnetic lasso that'll follow color. And then the fourth tool on the bar is the quick select. And the quick select responds to color and shade on the screen. It has a slightly more sensitive cousin called the magic wand. We'll talk about him later. We're going to go after this tomato with the quick select tool. On the options bar, I'm going to click new select and I do have a size control. So if your screen is showing a really tiny circle, you might have to click more than once. Now, the first time I click, I get the lighter part of the tomato. As I move out and I get on more colors, I'm picking up more. But it stops at the edge of the white page. I have the full tomato selected. On my select menu, I can save this selection and use it for a later date. T-O-M-A-T-O, -O. click OK. And now, select, deselect. I can come back to it whenever I want. You can mix and match your tools. Let's take a look at the strawberry. Strawberry has several colors in him. We're going to start with the quick select tool on new. Let's get kind of a medium sized brush. Click. You see it's going to grab a little bit of the green but I miss some leaves. Now this brush is too big for that leaf. If I wanted to add it, I would have to drop the size. Or I can change my tool. I'm going to switch to the lasso, select add, and make a loop around what I want. The selection is absorbed into the larger selection and then that can be saved.